Do you perhaps own one of these 14 ships? Well, statistically, I could even say that most of you are flying one right now as your daily driver. And what would be the best thing to do with such a ship but to get the best engineered jump drive? So the question now becomes, what's the best way to do it? Well, come and find out. In recent times, developers have released a bunch of tech broker items. For some, you just need one-time payment. For others, you need a every time payment for every module in materials. And for some, there's need for commodities as well. One such item is a frameship drive with two, yes, two base upgrades and no experimentals. For example, normally true engineering can only equip one base upgrade and one experimental. Dynamics, doesn't that sound like a massive power creep or something? Well, yes, yes it does, but today we'll ignore the game design and horrible brain dead practices. For that, I made a whole video, so go check it out. But what we want today is the good shit, and this is the best good shit. So what do you need for this module then? Well, first off, no, you won't need to go engineer anything. No, you won't need to unlock any engineer either. All you need will be just a few materials you can see on the screen. The question then becomes, where and how do I get these materials? Well, let's start one by one. Tellurium, uh, one of the highest tier raw material that can easily be acquired in one of those places. The crystalline, only biological locations on planet's surfaces. Each location like this spawns mass amounts of those highest grade raw materials, and it is strongly recommended to farm them as much as possible, so that you can use material traders later down the line to exchange for lower tier materials with ease. Now, big thanks to my fellow creator Exegius, who made a comprehensive video on basically where to find all of these things. So I'll be using his knowledge, and you can see on the screen where to find these things, but today we'll be focusing just on Tellurium. And yeah, sure, alternatively, you can just drive on a planet and find these things in chunks and blah de yeah, but it's far, 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 far slower, and I don't recommend it. So again, the location is a uh, hip something some ah whatever you can see it on the screen next up is the dreaded data mind wake exceptions for all these data materials there's only one place to go and that's jameson's crashed cobra site a lore site with data scan points that will refresh when you log out to menu and back well simply put re-logging I made a video just before this one exactly about this particular farming method, and there will be a link in the description for it. But to repeat it, this unique place is located in HIP... ah, whatever, whatever. Here, just scan, 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 get as many data materials as possible, because you really don't want to return here. Plus, it's easy. A very game immersion breaking and horrible gameplay, but hey, at least it's efficient. After that, where to get the electrochemical nonsense? Well, you can go and directly hunt for those materials, but considering that that's only a grade 3, well, you can just go and do what most people do, and get your ass to civil war or war systems and hunt the high-grade emissions, and then just simply trade downwards from the material traders. There is a trick to farming high-grade emissions, and that's... By quitting the game. Well, it all makes sense. Anyways, basically what you do is find any high-grade emission, and as long as its timer doesn't run out, you can farm this single one multiple times. So basically, you found a high-grade emission. You go in, collect all the stuff that you need, then immediately quit the game. Yes, quit to desktop. Then reload the game and go in Super Cruise, and oh, look at that, the high grade is still there. So basically what you're gonna be collecting is shit ton of military super capacitors and then trading them down. This works and is a legit way that developers say is okay to farm materials. Uh, the word genius comes to mind right about now, if I'm honest. And finally, where do you get chemical processors? Well, the obvious place would be the meth cook's house. But in Elite Dangerous, apparently, it's not the best case. So, those materials are even lower grade than those electrochemicals. So you could cross-trade, but I never recommend it because it's just wasting your time and material worth as well. So, instead, just go try and find pharmaceutical isolator crap. And that can be easily found, well, hopefully, in outbreak systems. Again, high-grade emissions. So, repeat the same rigmarole like before and get to the trader afterwards. 
Now once you have collected enough materials and exchanged the necessary amounts for the blueprint, head to your nearest tech broker and exchange it for your one FSD. That simple. So yeah, for every other new FSD like this, you will have to bring another bunch of those materials, so I guess get grinding, or I'll stick with one of them. So basically, the grind is the game, and the bitch is your name. So taking a quick jump to Farseer's old hole and dusting off that old fossil for some services is recommended. Still, by far, this module is the best jump drive for those 14 different ships. And yet, none of those ships jump further than Anaconda. But regardless, installing the best FSD drive that jumps the furthest is probably the biggest quality of life improvement you can make for yourself, regardless of the ship or its stats, or your playstyle. For now, that's about it. Relatively simple to get in, just that it's grind, 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 and yet again grind. And how nice it would be to actually have a handcrafted quest reward like this, but... Yeah, how nice it would be, but until that impossible dream comes true, why don't you take a look at my Patreon if this was a helpful little video? Your neighborhood Latvian could certainly use the support. But otherwise, do check out other videos I made and maybe join the Discord community for fun, or maybe if you need help. All the links will be in the description.